नमस्कार आई एम अखिल श्रीवास्तव फ्रॉम इंडियन मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट आई एम हेयर टू प्रेजेंट वीकली वेदर रिव्यू एंड आउटलुक फॉर नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स लेट सी हाउ वॉज द वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट वन वीक If we see the weather with the help of the climate, with the help of the cloud pattern, the movement of cloud, we can see that the lot of uh, cloud uh, movement activities and different kind of cloud formation was seen over India. If we see as a whole, then we can make out that there were majorly two systems or uh, two weather activities which impacted India. One was the very severe cyclone storm Yas, which formed over uh, Bay of Bengal, and other was the southwest monsoon, which further advanced to some more parts of Bay of Bengal during the week. other than that we also saw few western disturbance movement across the northwest india and a few cyclone circulations and trough developed for short durations over various parts of the country if we see the left image which is showing the movement of cloud we can see a cloud uh, uh, circulation uh, cloud in the circulation form which has formed over bay of bengal it started moving towards northwest india and you can see this this is the cloud movement uh, cloud formation which is associated with the very severe cyclone storm yas and uh, which formed over bay of bengal and moved and crossed uh, the indian landmass uh, you know which we will uh, again see in detail in the later slides in the top if we see in the northwest india we see the movement of cloud from west to east direction which is the move movement due to the western disturbances apart from that we also see some cloud uh, movement and uh, uh, which is due to the different troughs and cyclone circulation which have formed over uh, indian region due to some uh, for a short, short durations if we see on the right hand side with it this is showing us the uh, weather systems with the help of the 850 hp wind and if we see in the bay of bengal again we can make out the formation of very severe cyclone storm yas which has formed over uh, our bay of bengal and moved west northwestward and crossed india around uh, on 26th of may now if we will see these systems in detail in the later slides as we are talking about the advancement of the southwest monsoon then southwest monsoon has now advanced into some more parts of south bay of bengal nicobar islands entire south andaman sea and some parts of north andaman sea on 21st may 2021 this has further advanced into some more parts of southwest bay uh, <coughs> southwest bay of bengal most parts of southeast bay of bengal some more parts of east central bay of bengal and entire andaman sea and andaman and nicobar islands on 22nd may 2021 then it has further advanced to some more parts of maldives comorin area and uh, some parts of southwest and southeast bay of bengal on 25th of may 2021 the image this uh, on the left hand side it is showing the with the red lines the normal position where the southwest monsoon uh, is expected and the green line is showing the actual southwest monsoon movement uh, current i mean at present what we are uh, observing in the uh, for this year if we further see like, about the very severe cyclone storm which was the main weather activity and if you want to see its history how it formed and uh, how, how, how what was its life cycle we see that it formed as a <clears throat> low pressure area over east central bay of bengal on 22nd then it concentrated into a depression in the morning of 23rd over east central bay of bengal and it further intensified into deep depression in the night of the same day and over similar same kind of same area that is east central bay of bengal further it remained practically stationary and it further intensified into cyclonic storm yas over east central bay of bengal in the early morning of 24th may it then moved north northwestwards and intensified into severe cyclonic storm in the night of 24th may further moving north northwestward it intensified into a very severe cyclonic storm in the evening of 25th may over northwest bay of bengal it continued its movement in the north northwest direction and it crossed north odisha coast around latitude 21.35 degree north and longitude 86.95 degree east that is about 20 km to the south of balasore as a very severe cyclonic storm with maximum sustained wind speed of 130 to 140 km per hour gusting to 155 km per hour between 10:30 to 11:30 hours ist of 26th may 2021 after making landfall it after crossing over it weakened into a severe cyclonic storm over northeast odisha around uh, afternoon it is around 14:30 of 26th may it further moved northwestwards and weakened into cyclonic storm in the evening of 26th may at, over north odisha and further uh, weakened further into a deep depression in the night of 26th may over south jharkhand and adjoining north interior odisha by today it, uh, it has further weakened into a depression around 11:30 ist of to, uh, over central parts of jharkhand this is the entire life cycle of uh, the very severe cyclonic storm yas which formed over uh, low pressure as a low pressure area 
over uh, east center of bay of bengal on 22nd and made a la landfall uh, <coughs> around uh, uh, south of balasore at a very severe cyclone storm on 26th and today morning by 11:30 it has uh, weakened into a depression over central parts of jharkhand this is the entire life cycle till today of this uh, very severe cyclone storm yas which formed over bay of bengal if we see further uh, the uh, uh, the rainfall activity which has happened over the indian region during the week we see that the heavy to very heavy rainfall and with ex and also extremely heavy rainfall in isolated places it has occurred over tamil nadu puducherry karaikal odisha and uttarakhand during one of the days of the week if we see the above map which is showing us the observed rainfall which has been recorded by imd uh, on various days so if we see the color with the color with the help of colors the more the reddish color it shows us the more intensity of the rainfall so if we see towards the odisha side on around 26 we can see a orange red patch which is showing us the uh, extremely heavy rainfall and on the other places also we are seeing some blue color which is showing us the heavy to very heavy rainfall activity which has happened so uh, usually we have seen that the heavy to very heavy rainfall at isolated places has occurred over rail sima और उड़ीसा वेस्ट यूपी हरियाणा चंडीगढ़ दिल्ली कोंकण गोवा तमिलनाडु पुदुचेरी नॉर्थ इंडिया कर्नाटका केरला ड्यूरिंग द पास्ट वीक सो दिस वाज दिस इज द मेन रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी व्हिच वाज ऑब्जर्व इन द पास्ट वन वीक इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द रेनफॉल व्हिच हैज एक्चुअली हैपेंड ड्यू टू द वेरी सीवियर साइक्लोन स्टॉर्म uh yas it has mainly impacted two of the indian states that is the west bengal and the odisha odisha seeing the more uh, and the major amount of rainfall activity if we see how rainfall has been observed over odisha then on uh, 25th may the past 24 hour rainfall was record, recorded in different places of odisha is displayed on the map in this we see that the paradeep jagat singhpur it recorded 161.1 mm that is 16 cm rainfall on 25th may morning in past 24 hours other than that heavy rainfall to very heavy rainfall is also recorded on uh, different places different districts of odisha which is mentioned on the screen like astranga in puri recorded 11.5 cm kujanga in jagat singhpur 11 cm on and furthermore in on 25th may if we go to the 26th may then we see that the rainfall activity was further enhanced uh, in various coastal districts and adjoining districts of odisha we can see in chandbali bhadrak on 26th may it recorded 288.3 mm that is about 28 cm rainfall rajanka in kendrapara recorded 251 mm we saw these are all extremely heavy rainfall activities so we can see that in chandbali rajkanika garatpur varsha gai which are mostly the in the district of kendrapara bhadrak jagat singhpur they all recorded extremely heavy rainfall and other than that we see a, a lot of places where very heavy rainfall was also recorded like uh, kendrapara uh, and your balikuda in jagat singhpur bhadrak all these places so the good amount of rainfall activity was recorded on 26th may which was even more than what was happened in 25th may if we see the 27th may then we see the again that the rainfall activity further it spread towards the uh, interior parts of odisha uh, like in kyun jharga district where we saw 26.8 cm of rainfall recorded on 27th mayurbhanj it it also received extremely heavy rainfall that is 25 cm sundargarh it recorded 21.3 cm jhumpura 21.2 cm so a very good amount of rainfall activity was recorded from various district of odisha during the uh, during 25th to 27th of may due to the impact of very severe cyclone storm yas if we talk about uh, yas uh, impact over uh, west bengal we see that the rainfall was uh, also recorded that was uh, like uh, uh, like in digha it was 55 millimeter on 20, uh, on 26th barakpur 36 kontai 54 and uh, heavy rainfall was also uh, recorded over diamond harbor on 27 that was 110.8 millimeter that is 11 cm other than that dumdum kolkata bagati they all recorded close to 6 cm of rainfall in past 24 hours on 27th of may if we talk about the uh, wind speed over west bengal then we can see that in digha the sustained wind speed was observed was around 120 kmph and over kolkata hal uh, uh, haldia it was 60 kmph and in freshergarh it was around 90 km per hour this was the main rainfall activity and the wind which was observed in odisha and west bengal states due to these very severe cyclone storm yas if we talk about the rainfall activity over, over entire india during the week 
and also for the season that is uh, from 1st of march 2021 to 26th may 2021 and for the week from 20th may to 26th may we see that the for the past week except uh, we this uh, gujarat saurashtra region vidarbha and few of the north eastern states almost all the states they received like uh, uh, they, they were not the states of deficient rainfall whereas if we talk about the seasonal part also jammu kashmir and few north if we leave few north eastern states all states had normal to above normal rainfall activity if we see in terms of the values we see that in the past week the departure from long period average for uh, country as a whole has become 16% that means in this past week we have received 16% more rainfall when uh, as compared to the long period average whereas in the northwest india we received approximately 239 degree, percent rainfall more then what is actually received in the past week this was basically mostly due to the interaction of the taukte uh, extremely severe cyclone storm remnant which was interacting with the western disturbance in northwest india and we see a good rainfall activity in the northwest indian region in the past week in the starting uh, half of the past week in central india also a similar kind of uh, situation was there and we received 146% uh, uh, rainfall more than the long period average in south peninsular india it was 117% more in east and north east india it was 16% so this was the rainfall uh, situation in the past week if we take it uh, and extend it to the entire season that is starting from 1st march to 26th of may we see country as a whole the uh, rainfall activity departure is 12% that means we have we are in the excess of 12% Uh, then what is expected during this period so actually we have received 133.8 mm of rainfall against 119.8 mm which is uh, normally expect <coughs> expected if we talk about east and northeast india still we are lagging behind the normal rainfall and we are still as a season as a whole if we see we are having a uh, like a deficiency of minus 24% we have received till now 257.4 mm of rainfall however normal rainfall is 338.6 mm in all other areas we have received uh, more than the normal rainfall activity with major contribution from central india where we have uh, about received about 132% of the normal rainfall activity this is the overview of the rainfall which has happened during the past week and season as a whole now if we talk about the temperatures so the maximum temperatures if we see on the left panel it is showing the maximum temperature central one is the minimum temperature right side is showing is the mean temperature whereas the below panel it shows the anomaly that is the departure from the normal situation if we consider the maximum temperature we see the maximum temperature were below 2 to 6 degree centigrade over most parts of the country except some areas over east coast and northwest india this is particular for the 26th may and uh, where this temperature was to 2 degrees centigrade above normal and uh, no heat wave was uh, seen over any part of the country during the past week if we see about the current weather situation that is how is the weather today that is on 27th may 2021 we can see that the southwest monsoon it has further advanced into some more parts of maldives maldives comorin area southwest and east central bay of bengal most parts of southeast bay of bengal and some parts of west central bay of bengal today morning and uh, there was a western disturbance as a trough in mid tropospheric levels which was roughly around uh, longitude of 78 degree east and north of 28 degree north and another western disturbance was also seen over west afghanistan and neighborhood at lower tropospheric levels and uh, based on the current prevailing situations conditions are likely to become favorable for onset of southwest monsoon over kerala around 31st of may 2021 now talking about the uh, remnant of very severe cyclone storm yas that is the deep depression over south jharkhand it has moved nearly northwards with a speed of around 9 km and uh, has weakened further into depression around 11:30 hours ist of today 20, that is 27th may 2021 over central parts of jharkhand it is likely to move nearly northwards and again uh, further weaken into well marked low pressure area during next 12 hours uh, if we see the warnings uh, like for the next 5 days and on my, my right hand side it is showing us the multi hazard map which is showing us the different warnings for the different some uh, different uh, meteorological subdivisions issued by the imd so we see that on 27th may heavy to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy <coughs> rainfall is uh, very likely at isolated places over bihar we can see this has been uh, depicted with a red color that bihar is, is expected to receive isolated extremely heavy rainfall also heavy to very heavy rainfall are also likely over east uttar pradesh 
and your Jharkhand, West Bengal, which are shown with the orange color. So these places are expected to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy chances over Bihar. And we are also expecting some heavy rainfall activity at isolated places over North Chhattisgarh, Andaman Nicobar Islands, Odisha, Assam Meghalaya, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Karaikal, and Kerala and Mahe. <clears throat> on 28th, if we see, the situation is slightly improved with respect to the intensity of rainfall and heavy to very heavy rainfall at isolated places is still likely over East UP and Bihar, which are shown with the uh, orange color. And other than that, we are also expecting heavy rainfall activity at isolated places over South Himalayan West Bengal, Sikkim, and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. On 29th, we are expecting heavy rainfall activity over Bihar, Andaman Nicobar Islands, Kerala, and Mahe. On 30 and 31st uh, May, the heavy rainfall activity is likely to shift towards uh, uh, South India and North East India. So we are and we are expecting heavy rainfall over Assam and Meghalaya and Kerala and Mahe on 30th, and over West Bengal, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, and Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Karaikal, Kerala, and Mahe on 31st of May. Other than the heavy rainfall activity, we are also expecting squally weather. That is where wind speed can reach to from. 40 to 50 kmph and gusts can be even more over uh, our east uh, east coast as well as west coast which have been uh, depicted on the images and we are also expecting some thunderstorm activities over central india uh, on day 27 to 30th may and over south india also on 31st May. So all these uh, warnings are uh, expected during the next five days and uh, <clears throat> A special care has to be taken in the regions where orange and red warnings are issued where we are expecting some good amount of rainfall and reaching up to extremely heavy over Bihar and very uh, heavy to very heavy over East UP and Bihar and adjoining areas. If we talk about uh, <clears throat> rainfall uh, like what we have seen about with the help of the uh, map for the next two weeks. So we see that the left panel on the top side it is showing us the expected rainfall based on the extended rain forecast model from 28th May to 3rd of June and on the right side it is showing us the rainfall from 4th June to 10th June. The below panel is showing us the anomaly with respect to the expected forecasted rainfall. If we see bo both these uh, images together, we see that the East and Northeast India and the South Peninsular India along with East India, it's like it's expected to have some uh, good amount of rainfall activity during the first week. If we see in terms of anomaly also, it is expected to have some above normal rainfall activity, where in the second half, if we see, the, in the second week, if we see, then the rainfall activity is slightly like reduced over coastal Karnataka, Kerala. Otherwise, it is having good rainfall, act, uh, positive anomaly, positive rainfall. It means more than normal rainfall is expected in South Peninsula, Northeast India, and some places of the East India. Other than that, we are expecting uh, normal rainfall activity in the two weeks. If you see this rainfall activity in detail, we see that the under the influence of remnant of Yas isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy falls are likely over Bihar on 27th, heavy to very heavy rainfall over Jharkhand, West Bengal, Sikkim on 27th and over East UP, East UP on 27th and 28th. We, and uh, the heavy rainfall is also likely over Odisha and Chhattisgarh on 27th May 2021. Other than that, we are also expecting light to moderate, scattered, fairly widespread rainfall, thunder showers over Kerala, Mahe, Lakshadweep, and coastal and south interior Karnataka during a two to three days. Its intensity and distribution is very likely to increase thereafter with fairly widespread to widespread rainfall during the second half of the week. Isolated heavy rainfall is also likely over Kerala and Mahe during 29th May to 2nd June 2021. Other than that, we are only expecting isolated to scattered rainfall activity over the parts of the South Peninsula India. We are also expecting western disturbance uh, activity and this interaction with the easterly uh, winds. Uh, under this influence, the light to moderate and isolated to scattered rainfall thunder showers are also likely over northwest India during 29th May to 2nd of June 2021. We are also expecting some good rainfall activity that is fairly widespread to widespread rainfall activity with isolated heavy falls over Andaman Nicobar Islands during the entire week. Other than that, uh, we are also expecting some uh, rainfall and thunder showers over northeastern states during the first half of the week and their intensity and distribution will increase and uh, we are expecting fairly widespread to widespread rainfall during the second half of the week. Isolated heavy rainfall is also likely over Assam Meghalaya during the second half of the week. If we go to the second week, the, uh, the rainfall activity is likely to be normal to above normal over South Peninsula India except Kerala and coastal Karnataka 
where it is likely to be below normal to near normal, which we have already seen in the ERF maps, which were projected uh, earlier. And it is likely to be above normal over East India and below normal over most parts of the Northeastern states. It is likely to be near normal over remaining parts of the country. This is the forecast with respect to the rainfall, which is expected during next two weeks. If we talk about uh, temperature, so the <clears throat> top panel is showing us the forecast Tmax temperature and the second uh, image is showing us the Tmax anomaly. If we consider these two images, we see that the maximum temperature, uh, they were above normal over most parts of the northeastern states. They are below normal to near normal over remaining parts of the country. And they are very likely to rise gradually by 2 to 4 degrees centigrade after 2 days over northern parts of the country. And under this situation, uh, we are expecting that they are likely to be above normal by 2 to 3 degrees centigrade over West Rajasthan near normal over most parts of the northeastern India, East Rajasthan and Gujarat and below normal over remaining parts of the country. Therefore, we, are, we think that due to this uh, situation, heat wave at isolated pockets may occur over Rajasthan during the second half of the first week. If we see about the second week, how the temperatures will uh, are expected to fare out, then we see that the maximum temperatures are likely to uh, increase when we compare with the first week. However, they will be below normal or near normal over most parts of the country outside Gujarat, Odisha, northeastern states where they are likely to be near normal or slightly above normal. If we can see in the anomaly figure also, these uh, areas are showing some yellow to orange kind of anomaly, which means that the temperatures are likely to be above normal uh, as compared to uh, what is like we actually expect during this time. So, in this situation, heat wave is also likely at isolated pockets over Gujarat and Odisha on some days of the second week as well. Uh, this was the uh, weather details for this week. Uh, these are the uh, Android apps for uh, and iOS app for weather related information. You can visit IMD website at mosom.imd.gov.in or you can uh, access our Twitter and Facebook handle for all the latest information. And uh, thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.